Hello everyone, my name is Mayara Sharma and this is my film ePortfolio Mock and I hope you enjoy this video. Hi again, if you don't know me, my name is Mayara and this video is created on my film ePortfolio Mo. Uh, in this video, you see me creating a product, which is two canvases. Um, I decided to do three canvases, but um, towards the end, I ended up with two canvases, which you'll see why in the video. Um, the three canvases were intended to be on the three SDGs that I chose. Number one being peace and justice systems, number two being no poverty, and number three being no gender inequality. Um, I narrowed down to two, which is no gender inequality and peace and justice systems, which does have um, a hint of wealth disparity, which does re result to um, no poverty. I promise my video won't have this much talking in it, and if it does, it'll be more fun. But for now, I hope you enjoy my video. Yeah. So during this process, the first thing I have to do after getting film equipment is get product equipment to start the whole painting. Paintings. Well, so I need to go to the store. And I really don't want to go to the store. I'm dressed as a hobo, first of all. I am tired and it's the first thing in the morning. But worse than that, going to the store, I have to record in public and talk to a camera and look a bit cringe. But we're going to do it anyway. But first things first, I have to get dressed. So Okay, now that you've seen the outfit... It's time to go. Um, I'm going with my mom because I'm really, really nervous and I asked her to come. Um, if they ask me why I'm recording, that's going to be a very fun conversation to have. <laughs> Other than that, I hope this goes well. Wiggles and Giggles Center. Recording in public, it's so weird. They don't even know that. No, they do it. Like nobody knows this is a I am home and got three canvases to get started on. Those are the canvases, pretty huge. Not to mention the paints. Ah, okay. Well, let's get started in the sketches. Step two, sketching. There's not much to it. It's literally sketching. Uh, this is where I brainstorm, get my ideas, um, get inspiration about what I want to do, then do drafts on paper, and finally convert those drafts 
onto the canvas. <sighs> Seems like so simple when I say it in like 10 seconds. But this is going to be our process. Not for you though. You're going to see it in time lapse. Anyway, too much talking. I'm just going to cut off myself right like here. <laughs> So while sketching, we just struck a dilemma. Yep. And this is what you would call the climax of the video. Well, the unintentional climax of this video. Anyway, basically, while sketching, I would erase and draw, erase and draw, erase and draw. And I wasn't having fun because of the fact that I was trying to rush it because we're late on deadline. So basically, while drawing, I would get really irritated because I'm not able to do it correctly. And I'll keep erasing it. And I noticed that this whole like um, e-portfolio project is mainly about the media side, right? So this video. Then I realized, why am I wasting my time putting in so much effort to draw? So what I was going to do, well, what I am going to do right now is basically trace never done it in my life but yay so i'm gonna trace images that i find and then alter a couple of things that i don't like and then right below or even in the video i would say who inspired the art so we can get started so basically now we're back at square one and we're restarting Basically, um, we're in the film room right now. Uh, Miss Faith trusted me and Sorry, my friends with the keys and everything. So we're in the room alone. Anyway, so we did something smart. Exactly like how Gox uh, did it in his video that I was analyzing. Basically, he used the projector to project his artwork onto the canvas and then he can start painting. So that's what we're doing. And you can see it <laughs> in time lapse. The canvas is 
are done. <laughs> no, yeah. This is The canvases are done. <laughs> okay. Um, the canvases are done, and I am happy. And you cannot see it yet. And now it's time for step two, painting, which I'll probably do at four in the morning. So see you then. Step number three. Step number three is the painting. This is where I get started with my team of artists who have finished their e-portfolio to help me paint and finish the entire canvas. And that's it. That's it. We're done, folks. This took a uh, extremely long time with a bunch of editing. Oh my god, you don't know how much editing. Um, but I did have so so much fun. And for the few people watching this, I hope you enjoyed too. Um, I guess thank you for sticking around if you watched till um this far. Uh, I'm not gonna tell you to like or subscribe or comment or whatever because I'm mainly doing this because IB is making me. Um, but yeah, I guess that's it. And I really hope you like the reveal of the canvases. Um, I would have done better if I wasn't on a time limit and if I had like didn't have to edit and record and do everything myself. But thank you and thank you to all the people who helped me, which I put when I cut myself off right now. Okay, hi, hello. I know different setting from the video, but I just realized that I didn't really explain to you the meanings of these paintings. Um, so painting number one, which you'll see over here, is basically uh, Lady Liberty. So she's used um, with a blindfold on her eyes and a scale. So it's like she doesn't know which way the, t t uh, the scale is tipping. And basically it's to show that she has no bias. But because our justice systems are so corrupt these days, um, I decided to put the mask or the fold on her mouth. So it seems like she's giving hush money, where she can see the scale tipping towards the money that's being given, but doesn't have anything to say about it. And um, number two is on gender inequality. It's the fact that the government and the world can look at us and be okay with the inequalities we go through. The fact that women still get less pay in workspaces. The fact that it's hard for me to play soccer with other women because we don't have those facilities. So I decided to make the man um, government as an icon of the government looking at the scale and not doing anything about it with a cheeky or smirky smile. Um, then the scale has the inequality of it tipping towards men and the stick figures inside showing their, you know, their muscles and how strong they are and their trophies. And on the other side, the women's scale is unequal 
and the women pulling it down not to make it unequal again but to make it equal so that's basically um what i put into my paintings and yeah i hope you enjoyed anyway on to the credits